Good afternoon, Elite Class. Welcome to Class 3. What we're doing today is orientation. Orientation in our creative forms. I was so appreciative, so happy, and so proud to see all those posts of our Elite training. Everybody doing their training at home, practicing their creative forms, getting better. So when we come back on class, we're going to know everything that we did from before. And we're also going to be ready to be able to move on and promote in this creative form rank. This way, when we come back in class, I'm not teaching you creative form from the beginning because you've already been practicing it at home. Great job, everybody. All right, Alex is going to be helping us out with class today. We're super excited to be able to show you our creative form class for orientation. So let's start class. Share it. Can you? All right, we're going to get ready to do exercises. Today, we're doing exercises for a count of 15. A count of 15. Push up, Juby. Ready? Chia. All right, Alex, we're going to do our. We're going to do our one arm push ups. This is one where we're going to actually just re bring in our shoulder, our ear down to one hand. We're doing it for a count of 15, everyone. A count of 15. Okay, count that loud, everyone. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Ten, sir. Eleven. 11, sir. 12? 12, sir. 13? 13, sir. 14? 14, sir. And 15? 15, sir. All right, let's stand up. Good job. Now, we're going to do our jump scissor kick. So we're going to squat down low, pop up from the squat position, do a nice high scissor kick. Side, high scissor kick. We're going to need this in our creative forms where we're doing our, or we're doing our front kicks. So let's warm up our legs now. All right, 15 times. Ready? Start low. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. Ten, sir. Eleven. Eleven, sir. Twelve. Twelve, sir. Thirteen. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen. Fourteen, sir. And fifteen. Fifteen, sir. Great job. Okay, now everybody, we're gonna lay down, flat on the mat, arms above our heads, we're gonna do our V-ups. We're doing our V-ups for a count of 15, 15 of them. Now, Alex, feet this way, while we do the V-ups so we can see. We wanna make sure when we do our V-ups, we're getting our back off of the mat, not just bringing our feet up and just trying to bring our feet all the way to our fingertips. Make your back come up and meet up in the middle, okay, for a count of 15. Ready, Alex? Ready, one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. Ten, sir. Eleven. Eleven, sir. Twelve. Twelve, sir. Thirteen. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen. Fourteen, sir. And fifteen. Fifteen, sir. Good job. All right, feet go this way, Alexander. We're going to finish with our windmills now, our half windmills. We're going to be up on our hand, we're going to face this direction. Okay, and we're going to switch. Make sure your bottoms don't touch. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. 10, sir. 11. 11, sir. 12. 12, sir. 13. 13, sir. 14. 14, sir. And 15. 15, sir. Very good job. Okay, have a seat. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do just a little bit of stretching. So we get ready for our form training. So we're going to do a nice stretch, fingertips out, reach out to your toes, head down to your knees. Keep your legs straight, don't bend up your knees, make them nice and flat. All right, tuck in your left leg, keep your right leg out. Both hands out to your toes, head down to your knee, and hold. Let's switch, right foot in, out, both hands, knee straight, head down to your knee. Let's go to our butterfly. Feet in, push down on your knees. All right, have a 
seat. Okay, we're gonna do our bow and arrow. Right arm comes across, left arm here, and pull. Pull, switch, left arm comes across, right arm in front, hold. Hand to your back, pat your back. Switch, other hand. Arm circles while we're sitting, arm circles, big circles. Circles go the other way. All right, good job. Now, I saw everyone was working on their creative forms one through five. We're gonna go through creative form one through five again together. All right, so everybody's on the same page, so we're able to do our same drills. All right, Al, you ready? Let's start over here. We're gonna walk through the form together. All right, we're gonna say our, our numbers. At the same time, we're going to fix little things that we were looking to fix when we were doing our form from the beginning. Jared? Kinye. Jumbi. We go out to our normal Jumbi. Now, left hand comes up. Left foot slides back in. Right hand is on top. Okay. On number one, we go into right front stance at an angle. Chop and punch. Ready? One. Now, when we move to two, left hand chop, right hand punch, right front stance, and two. Chop, and then make front stance to two. Now on number three, we're gonna step forward with our right foot into front stance, right high block, left punch, and rightward upset, down strike. Okay, that brings us to three. Now to four, we're going to spin, turning right to right low knife hand strike. Now we move into five. Five is our kick, so our hands come up in five position. We go with front kick, pop front kick, jump front kick, downward low block, all right, palm, excuse me, downward palm block, hand goes below the belt, all right. We're gonna add on one more thing today. We're actually gonna to go to number six. So, from number six, we're going to turn to the left, left, the left, left corner into a knife hand, knife strike, into a right punch. So we turn, knife hand, knife strike, and then into our punch. And that's six, and that's where we end today. Let's go back again. We're going to do a creative form again, one through five. So everybody's on the same page. Now, one thing I want to take away, what we want to look for, is after we bow in, is our proper way that we start. Hand comes up into Jumbi position. Then, left hand comes up while that left foot comes back. Make a big circle and on top. So the left foot steps out for Jumbi. Then when I raise the hand, the left foot comes back in while I make that big circle, right hand on top. Okay, Jared. Jumbi. Yeah. Toward me, not sideways, it's at an angle. Ready, go. All right, let's go right back over here. I just want to fix one thing. All right. My hyper team, this is something that's natural for you, for everybody else in the black belt, black belt elite, except for a little bit of that. 
unit factors, right? Just do a quick QB. Step out to the left, QB. Left foot comes in, short serve. Now we step out that angle. We go with our knife hand strike. Punch. Now watch, my stance does not change when I go to number two. I look at that angle, I go knife hand. Now when I get ready to punch, that's when I change the stance. I look to the front now. Here I'm going to go, step to the right. High lock, punch, upset downward right strike. Spin to the left, knife low. All right, here's our kicks. Front kick, top front kick, jump front kick, downward palm block. Spin to your left, knife, punch. And that's where we end six. That's where we end six. All right, great job. Now, here's our part of class. Hit pause. Whatever you like to do, we're going to take a quick water break. Come back and we're going to do our drill. Ready, I'll go. Now we can do one through six. Okay? So what we're going to do today for our first row, we're going to do dizzy. Dizzy form. Dizzy creative form. So what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes. You're going to spin around. You're going to do ten spins in a circle. Open up your eyes right away. Don't do jubi. Go right into your go right into your creative form one through six. Okay. Make sure you're in a safe spot in your basement in your living room so you don't bump into anything. All right, we're going to do 10 spins. Let's watch out. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ready? Go. Don't stop. Good job. Fight through the dizziness. You can do this three times, all right? Make it as much fun as you want to, all right? Let's see, once you stand, fight that dizziness, go in a nice, strong stance while you do your strikes, while you do your kicks, okay? Finish strong, all right? Do this one time, two times, three times, all right? Just make sure, I want you to be safe. Make sure you're not anywhere where you're gonna fall over, hit your head on a coffee table or something like that. Make sure you're somewhere nice and safe, okay? All right, was that fun? <laughs> okay. Orientation test. So you're going to be able to look to see what the orientation test was. Orientation test is one through five facing the back position. So just what Alexander did. So we're actually facing you. This is your back position. So when we turn this way, Alex came over here. He did one through five. Now remember, orientation is only going to be one through five. So you don't have to worry about doing six. We just added six on tonight. So you guys are going to be ahead of the game. So when we move on to six, seven's a big number. There's a lot in seven. And eight is really big. That's those butterfly kicks. So we're going to be getting, that, getting to that really soon. But right now we're doing one through five facing the back direction. Because you're used to practicing facing the TV maybe. So now you're going to have to face the other way. All right, where you're practicing in your room, go somewhere into a different, different direction facing the back, do one through five. Now what's also easy too is that you do one through five. Also, if you want to start counting to yourself one through five, say one, do the one motion. Two, do two. Three, do the set of three. Do four, the kicks, and then do five. I'm sorry, do uh, four, and then five, do the kicks. And then, if you want to, extra credit, add on six. All right, let's see how it's going to go. Turn your back out. Chair. Should be. So when we're doing creative form for tests. Now I explained on the post, but I just want to explain to everybody. When we do testing, we're going to be doing a actual um, contest on who has the best creative form. So by practicing these drills and practicing a creative form at home is going to get yourself better. All right. So what you can do is on creative form, start practicing your creative form 
at the end, remember, once you hit number nine, after you do number eight with all the kicks, number nine for elite, you are going to be ending your form with your creative form. You'll have a creative ending to the end of your form. Now, what I'd like to do is on our next class, I'll start to show you how to do number seven. Seven has a lot of steps in it, okay? And then eight takes a lot of practice with the kicks. But we're going to get all the way through this really soon, all right? But today, we're just concentrating on orientation. So use this time at home to practice your creative form. Get it down perfect. And then speaking about forms, who's practicing your forms at home too? I know that we're practicing right now elite training, but at home training is perfect time to start practicing your boom sets, all right? My deputy black belts, my black belts, it's time to go back in there, back into those pal gaze, and start practicing your pal gaze, all right? Some of you are red stripes wanting to promote up into black belt rank. Some of you are guys who will be up there very soon. Some of you are just starting choreo. This is a perfect chance to start watching those videos on our YouTube channel and start practicing your forms at home. Now, I'm in the process. We're going to be actually relaunching new forms where we're going to have some different directions for everybody so to help you out with your practice of your forms at home. But start practicing your forms at home. This is perfect time for your martial art training while you're not, in, not at the dojo that you can actually practice your forms at home. Not just the creative form in our elite class, but your regular forms. So you get better at those. So when I come to class, I know already, I know all my eight pal gates. I know how to do my choreo. I know my kung guy. I know my kung uh, my thai back. Going on from there. Deputy black belts, we have to worry about our black belts. Then we can start practicing our tie books. All right, our tie book forms too. Those are some other things that we want to start practicing. All right, great class, everybody. Use this time that you have at the house, at home training, to practice your creative forms. But remember, get your regular forms too. Don't forget those also. Sound good? All right, let's finish our class. Chariot, who kicking yay? All right, great job, everybody. Keep up the great work. Good job.